Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe. Good evening, everybody. I'm Mary Bubala. Fox 45 News is digging into some of the biggest problems facing Baltimore right now. We're following the money as the city makes some big decisions when it comes to using your tax dollars. Why some people are sounding alarm bells about the plan to give some city leaders a lifetime pension for part-time work. And coming up at 1015, the Baltimore Business Journal is reporting the city will pay squeegee kids up to $15 an hour for up to 35 hours a week as part of the squeegee collaborative plan. We're hearing from some who say that's not the best use of federal funds. But we begin with a depressing statistic. Baltimore City sees 300 lives lost to violence for an eighth year in a row. Riel Creighton joins us live with more on the latest victim. Riel. And Mary, it is a tragic milepost that the city seems to sail past every single year now for the better part of a decade. But it is also so important to understand that as these numbers climb, there is very real suffering behind each and every one of those numbers. And tonight we got to see the face of Baltimore's 300th victim. And that's just a little bit of, I mean, I can go all day on. For like, Steve Brandon, his friend was so much more than a number. I kind of almost failed numb. But he also understands his death is a defining moment for his city. Yeah, that's what I mean. That's a lot. That's, what, that's a big number. And it's, I mean, it's just sad that I, I got a friend for a mile, as a milestone and stuff like that. And, like, we wouldn't even be having this interview if he would have been like 261 or something like this. His friend, Baltimore's 300th homicide. The picture he shared of the man he identified as William Vincent, better known to everyone as Willie. Police say gunned down just before 1030 Saturday, Brandon says in his own Cherry Hill neighborhood. It's hard because I know what he was trying, I know he was trying to change it. The deadly shooting that took the life, he says, of a soon-to-be father, recently released from prison, who was trying so desperately to be better for himself and his child. Since he found out he was about to have a baby and stuff, he said he was going, you know, work on the family and, you know, and stay out of trouble. He saw him lying there. That's not nothing that probably be normal to a person, but it was seen, I was just telling people like, that's not the first, second or third time I didn't, you know, been in that situation. The situation that makes Brandon himself so emblematic of a profound tragedy unfolding. For him, it's generational. So many family and friends murdered. He was close to Willie because he says Willie was his little brother's best friend before he was also shot and killed in this neighborhood too at just 14. My father was killed out here in 2007 and then my brother was murdered in 2008. For Baltimore, it's the loss of hope this year would be different. The loss of another soul to gun violence. But repeated more than 300 times over for so many across the city, it's also what Brandon says he's lost. Like he was a friend, like like for a while, it was like there were no real friends out here. And the magnitude, if you can even understand this, is even greater. He says that he had actually just gone to a funeral that morning for another friend who had been shot and killed in the city. Tonight, Baltimore stands at 301 people murdered so far this year. Reporting live in Baltimore tonight, Riel Creighton, Fox 45 News. Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.